What's going on YouTube? It's Charlie Eugene back with another video. Today, I wanna to show you guys how to clean sticky keys on a Logitech MX Mini, or it could be the Logitech MX, the full size Logitech keyboard. Very easy to do it. I highly recommend writing down which keys are having the issue before you start, because you don't wanna go through and do all of the keys because this can be pretty tedious. Now, if your whole keyboard, if it got that bad where every key is sticky, then you're gonna have to do it. But more than likely, it's just a few keys that are having that issue, like mine here. I've already uh, fixed the spacebar key along with the K key, but I noticed that my command key has a sticky issue. And get your mind out the gutter, cause it, it wasn't, it's not what you think happened, okay? It was actually, I was making a gin and tonic, and when I opened up the tonic water, it went all over my keyboard and I didn't react fast enough to clean it. So the keys got sticky over time. All right, so you're gonna need a few tools here. You should have these things laying around the house. Uh, toothbrush, number one, you want a toothbrush. Number two is a cotton swab. Now, you might not need this. You might not need to dab into rubbing alcohol. If you do use it with alcohol, lightly coat the tip. Don't drench it, just lightly coat it if it's that dirty, but you really don't really need to rub in alcohol. The toothbrush is more important. And you're gonna need a precision flathead. Okay, let me bring this a little close. A really small flathead. It could be, I mean, better. it'd be better if you had a plastic flathead, but this is all I have, so I'm using this. And also you could use a full-size flathead, just be very careful not to damage um, to damage your key, okay? And two more pieces you're gonna need is a air duster can. This helps get rid of the little small particles and debris that's underneath the key. And you might wanna keep yourself or have yourself a microfiber cloth, okay? All right, so like I said, I've already, I've already fixed the spacebar key and the K key. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to take off the, the key, the command key here, all right? So it's very simple to do it. When you do uh, open your key or take off your key, start from the top, okay? Start from the top of the key and pry it, pry it off. Just be very gentle to get under the key. This one's being a little stubborn, but yeah, it's very easy. Start from the top. And if you have to put your finger This one's being a little stubborn. Hmm. Well, there we go. All right. So start from the top. Now use your toothbrush to brush gently inside. Okay. Very gently inside. All right. Also do the back of the key. This might be where the sticky stuff is. And yeah, you don't have, like I said, it depends on how bad it is. If um, if you've really soaked it with whatever is causing it to be sticky, then you might need to use the um, cotton tip with rubbing alcohol. But for me, it's not too bad. So I'm just gonna use a toothbrush and then use the air can to make sure that anything is out, everything is out, excuse me. All right, so gently toothbrush the back of the key all right, and then fill on the, the surface. Make sure you don't feel anything sticky. That feels pretty smooth, so that should be good to go. And then what I'm gonna do right here is, is brush it just a little bit more just to make sure, and I'm gonna hit it with the air can, okay? All right, so this video is a little darker than I usually make them because I turned off a lot of my lights here. It didn't look, I didn't like the way it looked, but hopefully it looks good when I upload it on YouTube. All right, so that looks good. And also fill around on the surface on the key. That feels pretty smooth. And then hit it with the air can. And that should be it. All right. Now, when you put the key back, back in place, it's the opposite. So start from the bottom, okay? So start from the bottom here and then push it down. And then kind of just wiggle it, wiggle it back and forth, bam. 
Nope, didn't do it good. Nope. There you go. Just put a little put a little um, pressure on it. Once you hear it, you'll hear it click in place. It now feels nice and smooth, okay? So we'll start from the top to take the key off, and then we put it back on, start from the bottom, but wiggle it around and put a little pressure on it. You'll hear it click, and then you'll, you, you can tell it's in place, and then now no more sticky keys, okay? This is a very easy process, and it works for each key, so you don't have to worry about that. And that's pretty much it, guys. So hit that, click that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you got any comments, feel free to leave them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, yeah. If I can do it, you can do it too. Peace.